Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Scorpio. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. See what's happening. Thanks for dropping in everyone, I really appreciate it. Scorpio, what is the overall energy surrounding Scorpio in love? What is the overall energy surrounding Scorpio in their love life? Overall energy surrounding Scorpio in love. Protecting, protecting treasure, Scorpio. And we have balancing act. <laughs> yes, interesting. And we have come together. Someone's trying to make a decision here. They're kind of in protective mode, feeling a little stuck. They're looking at all the details, uh, weighing the pros and the cons, trying to keep their balance here. But they want to come back together. They're about to make that decision. Okay, but they need to get themselves in balance first. So they're very much in protective mode, feeling stuck, but they are looking at these details as they make this decision to reach out towards you. Could be vice versa as well. So take it how that resonates. All right, Scorpio, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Scorpio viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Scorpio. Clear messages and guidance for Scorpio. Scorpio need to know. Ah, Ace of Pentacles, yes. This person wants to have this new beginning. I feel like they want to make you this offer, uh, but they're feeling a little bit, you know, protective, feeling a little bit stuck. They want it, though. They're working up the, you know, getting their balance here. <laughs> yes, trying to make that decision. Should I, shouldn't I? Yeah, they want this new beginning. Big time, yeah. So I feel like they're coming in to make you an offer. It's reliable. It's practical. Okay. And uh, there is emotion here. They want this fresh new start. They want this emotional new beginning. Yes, a new beginning. Yes, Ten of Wands. They want to end the burdens. Yeah, I feel like they. this person is is quite burdened by this. And they are possibly uh, holding things close to their chest. You know, they're afraid to lose their balance. They're afraid to make this decision as they're in protective mode. But it's also kind of a stuck and stubborn energy too. And that's what's creating the burdens here. Very interesting. It could be both of you as well. There we go. Yeah, so someone's afraid that this cup won't be accepted. Someone's afraid of rejection. So they're kind of tossing ideas back and forth. Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah, this is somebody who doesn't like rejection, all right? They're afraid of it. So they're feeling a little emotionally drained, definitely stuck, okay? They want to offer this cup. They're not so sure. Maybe they're waiting for you to offer it to them. But I do feel if this cup, <laughs> it is the big cup, all right? But it's like this feeling of, oh, you know, I want the whole thing. I want this, I want this Ace of Pentacles. I want this Ace. You want the big cup you want this person to offer up this love this emotion for this new beginning all right you want this to be reliable otherwise there is this rejection okay but we have the six of cups yeah so i feel as though this person has very sweet feelings there is possibly there's some sweet memories here between the two of you some of you may have children together and maybe you've become separated but I, I really feel there's some kind of history, some very sweet feelings. And somebody, like, they're, someone's just afraid. Someone's soft. I think, I feel like we have somebody very soft here. And this is someone who can't handle rejection, okay? And then we have King of Swords, yeah. This person's trying to become clear here. They're trying to make this decision. They know they need to... Uh, reach out. They know what they need to do. They're also becoming clear that they need to drop this burden, that they're protecting themselves and it's making them stuck. So they're coming up with some kind of a strategy here, I feel. Yeah. So we have this one and we have this one. Yeah, I feel like this person, they have a little bit of fear, all right, whether this can work out or not. I feel as though this person kind of needs to work this out for themselves. They need to get their balance. It's like they need to just give them the time uh, to work through this situation because they are afraid of rejection that this won't work out. They do want it to, but they keep it, they are afraid, okay? There is some fears about something that may have happened between you in the past. Somebody may not have been very clear about their intentions. 
Okay, they were constantly weighing the pros and the cons, and they were a little bit imbalanced. So, uh, but they are strategizing how to come in and make this work. Okay, but that fear is there. This is also, like I say, somebody who I feel like this person's quite soft. Um, they they kind of hide their feelings, right? There's a bit of confusion, a bit of mystery here. Mm hmm. Somebody was keeping secrets in the past about how they felt, but they had very sweet feelings. There's, there's lovely memories, sweet feelings here. Very interesting. And we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so we have Scorpio. Both of you probably have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. This air energy. All right, and becoming very clear about what needs to be done. You both want to, you're both trying to figure out how to strategize this, how to come back together, <laughs> but you're stuck because you're holding, you're feeling protective of yourselves. Maybe in the past, you know, for some of you, I feel there's this energy of somebody who maybe had a child with someone else, okay, or somebody was has uh, been rejected in the past, so they have a fear of moving forward. Somebody may have kept a secret about... Uh, a child in the past as well so there's something here uh, to do with that somebody wasn't very clear about something and they created this imbalance so interesting let's see what's going on here this is really about a reconciliation right someone's just afraid afraid of rejection feeling really stuck someone's getting bored of waiting too i feel it's like that's starting to kind of build there's just a need to get clear. Clear communication needs to happen. You need to talk. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Something needs clearing up from the past here. So one of you may have rejected each other. Mm -hmm. Rejected an offer in the past. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, so some, look at that work. Somebody definitely wants to put the work in. They do. They want to build from the ground up. They want to start over, and they're willing to put the work in. So this is a good sign. It's just that protective mode, right? Someone's looking at all the details, and it's, you know, there's that. <laughs> it throws them off balance. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, or pardon me, the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups energy. Yeah. So someone wants to reach out. They want to share their feelings and their emotions, but they're kind of afraid to, okay, because maybe there was a rejection in the past and they're afraid to be rejected again. Or someone's just, you know, I, the Four of Cups with the Six of Cups is somebody very soft, very gentle, someone who doesn't like rejection. And it, this is may, this may be what happened, but there's some kind of burden here. Someone is... You know, they're carrying this burden because they're always, they're protecting themselves, always in protective mode, always feeling stuck, right? Afraid to reach out. Uh, it's also a stubborn energy. Somebody may not have been reciprocating in the past as well, all right? Someone didn't reciprocate equally uh, when there was a new offer of love. Someone, you know, and that's the thing. Then it becomes a burden. And, you know, this is going to end, though. I do feel it's going to end. I feel it's just a matter of working through this process, uh, looking at the details. All right. Going from the four of pentacles stuck, refusing to move forward in protective mode to starting to weigh the pros and the cons when you pay attention to the details. Why am I stuck? Why am I scared? Oh, fear of rejection. I've been rejected in the past. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got someone here who has a lot of burdens, works a lot, Scorpio, okay? I feel like this person didn't reciprocate their emotions in the past, but I feel like they do want to come in and work on this. They've likely been working on themselves, and they've been working through this process, uh, but they do have a lot of burdens. They work a lot, and that's another thing, and I feel like this person very much protects everything they've worked very hard for, okay? Uh, but it is becoming a burden because they know they're overprotecting themselves, and protecting their finances as well so they've worked very hard so that they have a fear of rejection tell they may have rejected you in the past because of this fear tell me about the four of cups why is the four of cups here why is the four of cups here why is this four of cups here oops oh, i don't want that many a lot of reasons why when 20 cards come out <laughs> tell me about the four of cups why is this here 
Oh, I want some more cups. There we go. Come on, give us a clear one here. One that's not already flipped. Four of cups. Why is the four of cups here for Scorpio? Scorpio. There we go. These cards are getting fat. Yeah, so... Ooh, yeah, someone's not so sure here if they, yeah, someone's not so sure they want to accept this cup. They're not sure this is something that's going to make them happy. This offer may not be big enough. Maybe that's what happened in the past. Someone's not so sure if this situation can make them happy because of something that, because of a rejection in the past. Yeah, somebody doesn't just want one little cup. They want the whole cup. They want all these cups on the table, right? Mm -hmm. Someone knows they need to do that or they're going to be rejected. I feel it's this person up here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody who uh, works a lot, has a lot of burdens. With the Ten of Wands, they carry a lot of burdens, a lot of weight. But this, you know, I, I also feel somebody who's very much a little bit maybe selfish, a little greedy, quite stubborn. And I feel they uh, they know that this energy that they have... Um, is creating burdens in their love life, okay? I do feel like they want to reach out, but they are afraid it's going to be rejected. And I feel like you will reject this if they don't. You want all the cups. You want everything out on the table. Yeah, so somebody rejected someone in the past. Someone did not see a future with somebody here. This is an energy. Uh, we got the king and queen. This is your energy. You're not so sure you feel safe with this if you see a future with this person because they rejected you in the past. They didn't share all their feelings. They didn't do anything to make you happy. They didn't put the work in. They didn't reciprocate uh, any emotion. So this is for this person to come forward and they are protecting themselves. Like they don't want to. They're stubborn. They're stuck. Uh, they're trying to hang on to their money. They work all the time, but they're the one that's creating the burden. And I think they know this, right? And they know it. But now they want to come in and offer a cup and they're scared that they will be rejected. You don't necessarily see a future. You don't feel so safe and secure. So you're sort of sitting there trying to be grounded, practical. You're paying attention to all the details of everything that's happened in the past with this person. And you're not so sure. You're looking into the future and you're becoming very clear. All right, like this person didn't, you didn't, they weren't clear about their intentions, what they wanted. Okay, so yeah, you're looking out for you here. You're going to be very careful and uh, you're, you're planning for your future. I feel like this person's planning for their future. You're planning for yours. I feel like you both got your finances in order. Okay, you're both kind of probably in protective mode because that is the overall energy. All right, looking out for yourselves. But this is what's creating the burden. This is, you know, it's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to accept this cup. I'm not so sure I see a future with this person. If this is a big enough offer, if this is where I want to be because of what's happened. They rejected you in the past. Yes, you may have offered them something in the past and put a lot of work and effort into, into this offer to this person to, to work from the ground up and they did not. There were no feelings reciprocated. Tell me about the night. Yeah, so there was something that was exposed. Someone's becoming very clear, okay, that they want to have this new beginning. They're trying to make this decision. They want to come together with you. Um, they are burdened, okay. They do have a lot of burdens. That is something that, that, that needs to be set straight and clear. I feel like you both do. And uh, that needs to be made clear, too, because I feel like you're both very similar in a lot of ways. Obviously, King and Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, you guys could be a power couple, but you're both concentrated on your money, holding on to your money, looking to the future, planning for the future, but both worried about the other person rejecting them. <laughs> Yeah, you're both concentrating on your own happiness and your own future. Not sure if you see it, but I feel this person's becoming clear, and I feel like you will too, that there just needs to be some clear communication. You, need, you know, you're both strategizing and planning for the future, but you want this new beginning. It's here, coming together. You're very much going through the same thing. Yeah, coming together. There's some kind of change. You both come from the same world. <laughs> You're both, you both want to come back around. And I do feel like both of you have evolved. Uh, there's been some kind of growth, some kind of change here. Because you're becoming clear. Yeah, it's clearing the air, speaking, communicating. It's also listening. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this here? For Scorpio. Oh my. 
You may have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Yeah, so somebody's very defensive. They have their guard up. Someone's not sure what to believe. Okay, someone's defensive because they do work a lot. That's another thing. You both are. You're both guarded. You both defend the fact that you work a lot. You're both the same. Very much so. Very interesting. One of you may work from home uh, on the World Wide Web, that kind of an energy. Okay, uh, there's something that's growing, changing, something that's evolving. But you both want to come back around. You're both clear. You both know you want to you want to have this new beginning. You need to allow things to evolve naturally. You need to allow for this to grow. Um, you know, for this balance. You both need to do it, okay? You both need to balance your work and a relationship. You both feel the same. So it's like this person, they're very burdened, like they have a lot of burdens, and they've been holding back and stubborn, I feel, in the past because they were protecting themselves, their money. Um, they were stuck, unable to move forward. And um, you may have offered them a cup and they rejected you because maybe they, this person did not realize then that you are the same as them. You actually need to balance your work and your relationship as well. And I don't think this person got it, but I feel like they're going to. So we have the seven. Yeah, you're both guarding and very defensive about your work. You're not sure what to believe. Okay. Yeah, you both defend the fact that you have to work a lot kind of interesting this is what happens when you don't communicate clearly now you connect with somebody and somebody starts to hold back and they get stuck because oh i work a lot i work so much you know i'm building from the ground up here i don't have a lot of time to reciprocate when it comes to my love life but you both feel that way so it actually balances out uh, it could work very well. In fact, if you allowed things to evolve and grow and you communicated and talked about it, you'd see you're both in the exact same place. So there is some fear. There's a lot of mysteries and confusion between the two of you because of this. And I do think you're both going to communicate clearly to come back together. You're both going to have to listen to each other as well. Tell me about the moon. You just, you know, you just want to feel safe and secure. You didn't feel safe and secure with this person in the past because they didn't reciprocate anything. And uh, you were the one doing all the giving, but yet you work just as much as they do. Okay? And you you need to balance your work and play as well, but you were doing all the giving and they weren't putting in their share, so it created an imbalance. So, but if you both work together on this from the ground up, and you could work this out. You really, really could. Very interesting. Tell me about the moon. What's going on with the moon? The moon, the moon, the moon. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. So we have the power card here. So yes, I do feel like the both of you have this need to t be in control. Both of you are hiding your feelings, keeping your emotions in check, using all the power you have to sort of keep your emotions in check here. And I also feel as though... <laughs> Uh, once these secrets come out, things are going to move forward. Both of you do want to move forward, but you need to communicate exactly what you need. You need to listen to each other. Both of you are very much a little bit of control freaks here. Yeah, someone feels like there's no hope. So I had to pause. My dog started to bark. So yes, we have uh, the power card here. This is cancer energy. Somebody may have a cancer moon. This is someone who hides their feelings. They do everything they can to fight those feelings, all right, of rushing forward, wanting to put their feelings out there, keeping it all hidden. Someone turned their back on their own feelings. Someone maybe never took the other person's feelings all right. Never, no, somebody didn't care about someone else's feelings. There's some remorse and regret here about not sharing your feelings, keeping secrets, wanting to be in control. Mm -hmm. Someone feels there's no hope, but there is, okay? There's always hope with the Five of Cups. There's still two cups standing. You just need to turn around. Someone doesn't want to, like someone's so in protective mode, uh, protecting their money, protecting their work, feeling very stubborn about it, that they don't want to turn around and they don't want to look at these or they don't want to look at these two cups that are here, but they they don't want to acknowledge what happened. They want to just sort of keep it hidden. They keep it buried. It's going to come out, though. Yeah, so it's, it's really about protecting your money, keeping balance in your life because you work a lot. Okay, you could be business owners or you just have a lot of work responsibilities. 
You know, the queen of, this is you, Scorpio, the queen of pentacles. You take care of your children. You take care of your home. You work. You do it all. And yet you were giving to this other person. You were always, you know, being giving and sharing and making them feel comfortable. But they weren't reciprocating that. So uh, you may have rejected them because of it. They weren't being emotional. They weren't sharing their feelings and emotions. And you didn't feel safe with them. This person didn't take the time to stop and think. Um, you, there was a lack of communication to do with that. You're both very much the same. Your life, their lifestyle is the same. Your worlds are very much the same. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What's going on with the Queen of Swords? Yeah, so there you... <laughs> So someone's becoming very clear, all right? So someone's strategizing here. Somebody definitely cut someone out because of this hiding feelings, feeling like they were keeping a secret because they weren't reciprocating, they weren't sharing anything. They weren't divulging any information, their feelings, you know, they were just closed right off. And it's because they were protecting themselves, trying to keep balance with it because they work a lot, but they weren't communicating it. So, you know, it creates a lot of confusion. Uh, I feel like you cut this person out. They weren't offering you anything, right? They offered one cup and kept everything, all their emotions, everything. They were selfish, and they might have even acted a little bit smug. So I feel like you cut them out, but they want to come back together. <laughs> it's very interesting. Tell me about procrastinating, but it's all about fear. Or not procrastinating. Yeah, this this being stuck can be procrastination, balancing act. But I feel it, and that's probably what's happening. They're feeling very stuck. You know, they're trying to get their balance back. This person needs to keep balance because they have to protect everything they've built, all their pentacles, all their hard work. And you do too. You're both the same. In fact, because you're both the same, you could have a really wonderful balanced relationship because you would respect that about each other. But it hasn't been communicated. That's a problem. Uh, you could plan ahead. You're both planning for the future. You could come together and strategize how to make this work so you could get your wish come true. I feel like you're hoping this person comes in, right, and offers you this cup, grants you this wish. Uh, they likely feel the same way, but you're both in protective mode, not moving. Protecting treasure. Why is this here for, oops, Scorpio? So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. That doesn't mean you have that in your chart, but if you do, this is like so you, all right? This reading will resonate a little bit more. So yeah, you both are. It's going to take teamwork and cooperation to work together, and you're both doing it. You have a lot in common here is what it's saying. You have more in common than you realize. You're both in protective mode. You both work a lot. You're both holding on to your money. You're both planning your future. <laughs> you're both trying to keep everything in balance, but you need to communicate it. Yeah, I think there's room for growth. I think things could evolve, but you just need to get this guard down. Someone's so guarded and defensive about their work, someone's not so sure they believe this can work. So instead of communicating, they just took off in the other way. Now they regret it. So balancing act. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. See, there you are. You're both the same. There's a lot of balance between you. You're both acting the same way. You both feel the same way about each other. You both might even be understanding this now. And it's time to communicate. So coming together. Very nice. This could be somebody, you know, that uh, has been rejected in the past. So they feel scared of rejection as well if they come forward. Because there's protection that. Protecting their feelings, their emotions. All right. Uh, you may not even have much of a history. This could be their own personal history. Or maybe that's your history. Okay. But it's in the middle. So you're both the same. You both have been rejected in the past. You've both been hurt. You both are looking and protecting your families, all right? Everything that you've worked for. Yes. So you may not even have a huge history together. There may have been this afraid to reach out and offer this because protecting your money, not sure. There's probably this really wonderful attraction, but, um, you know, nobody's putting the work in right now. All you're doing is concentrating on your work, but thinking about the situation and becoming clear. It's time to communicate, time to get together and strategize. You could have something really wonderful. Yeah, you're both trying to figure each other out, how to come together, how to fix this situation. Somebody has some remorse and regret uh, and some worry about this. Someone feels a little guarded, not so sure, okay, if this can work, but that's I feel it's past energy. Mm -hmm. Someone regrets not figuring this situation out in the past, figuring out how to make this work. 
figuring out working together and strategizing somebody wants to win at all cost here but they're afraid yeah this is insecurity too the seven seven of swords is somebody who has a bit of an ego too right and um yeah they're actually more insecure and that's what it is someone's insecure about coming together with someone because of all these reasons above so yeah they regret this though Somebody regrets overthinking and being insecure when they actually you actually have this lovely connection and balance. I like this reading. I feel like it's very hopeful. Just communicate and listen to each other. Someone needs to reach out, though. One of you has got to make the first move. So I'm just going to ask who that is. Who's going to make the first move? Who's offering up this pentacle? Who's offering the pentacle? There we go. Oh, someone's having an epiphany. <laughs> Aha! Someone's got to make the first move. Probably somebody with the air, but I feel like you both got air. I feel like you both got earth, Scorpio. In fact, somebody has Leo. Uh, you'll have to figure out who you are. Someone's got Pisces and Cancer in their chart. A little bit of fire energy here with the Leo. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you both, you're both working towards your stability. Uh, you both want something stable. You both do. You want to build from the ground up. You could both work together to have this. The two of you together could have so much. Working together. Building from the ground up. Wow. Who's offering this pentacle? Who's offering this pentacle? There we go. Aries, Leo, said you, Scorpio. Yeah, you're, you're thinking about offering this pentacle with the Knave of Wands, all right? But you're focusing on this, and you're focusing on this, trying to figure out how to go about this. So there you are. Unless it's this person's got Leo in their chart, they may come forward. This person might be just a little hesitant, okay? Um... You know, the, the Knave of Wands is somebody, sometimes they're a little immature or they just, they're blunt, they're quick, they're fast. They come in just out of the blue. You know what? If that's what it takes to get the communication going, then that's what it takes. But I feel as though there is a lot of stability. Somebody's a little bit worried about their safety and security in this situation. They're worried about their money, everything they built up, their legacy, their family. Okay, so there may be just a need to communicate, just something uh, very quick, very sudden, because I do feel with this cancer energy that something is going to move here. Uh, somebody regrets not moving forward or somebody regrets being too much in control or hiding their feelings and emotions. Because you obviously came together at some point and it obviously didn't go anywhere. Somebody just wasn't so sure they could see a future. If this is what will make them happy. So I feel it could very well be you. You may just very bluntly decide to put something out there. You have to clear the air. But yeah, there's been this holding back thinking. So you're thinking about what to say. And I do feel like eventually you're going to just say something to clear the air. Because you need to get it off your chest. Uh, you are that that uh, the one with the fighting spirit here, Scorpio. All right, with that Mars energy that you have to come in and uh, fight for this. Yeah, so that's another thing, is asking somebody if they're still single too, right? Reaching out. Yeah, you got everything you need. You know you have everything you need. Okay, so you might be asking this person if they're still single, but this could be them, because I do see this Leo energy, and they may be the one coming in asking if you're still single, and they want to clear the air, but they're thinking of this, and rest assured this person is thinking about you, if you're thinking about them. Six of Pentacles, yeah, they want to reach out. This person's ready to reciprocate. They have everything they need, okay? But this is also an energy of somebody who didn't in the past, okay? Remember that. This is somebody who was trying to keep everything they had to themselves. But they're ready to reciprocate. They're ready to reach out. I feel like somebody's going to ask you if you're still single. Yeah, trusting your intuition. This person may have Pisces in their chart. Uh, they may reach out. Trust your gut here. You'll know what to do, Okay? Someone's soul searching here, thinking a lot about this. Do I want to stay single? Do I want to work on this? Do I want to make this offer? And I feel like they will, and it's going to come very quickly, just very suddenly, uh, blunt. Are you still single? What's going on? You know, it's going to be, it's going to seem a little bit offbeat. Yeah, so we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking towards that Ten of Cups. 
walking away from that fear, working towards that Ten of Cups energy. Somebody wants to. It could be either one of you. You're both probably thinking the other one should. I feel that too. You're both hoping the other person uh, makes the decision to reach out. Boy, there's so much common here between you. I wouldn't be surprised if you both texted each other at the same moment. Seriously. <laughs> All right, let me grab some outcome cards and we'll see where we're at. Yeah, someone's definitely ready to put all this behind and uh, to start moving towards this Ten of Cups. Yeah, someone's going to take a look over their shoulder and look at their feelings and emotions and decide it's time to just say something. I feel like it could be either one of you, but we do have this Leo energy, very strong, very confident energy. Yeah, someone's going to take action here. Somebody is ready to take action. What is the outcome of this situation for Scorpio? Whatever it is, you want to make sure you're safe and secure. If you have children, you're definitely taking care of them. You're taking care of yourself. You've got it all covered here. And this person's going to see this. And this might be why. You might be a little worried, you know, about accepting a new beginning here. Until all the cups are on the table. You're not so sure this is going to make you happy. Maybe make your children happy. Uh, this person may have rejected you or you're just not sure. So, yeah, you're both manifesting each other. Magician in the mirror. You both want this. You're both feeling the same way. You both want to take action, but nobody's moving. You're both stuck and stubborn. Doesn't surprise me with this earth energy there. Whether you have earth in your chart or not, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're both in that energy of protecting yourselves, protecting your family, your money. All right. Looking into the future, being super slow, super stubborn. One more outcome card. Oops, we'll take this one first. Yes, yeah, door to personal healing and happiness. So you both need to let go of some things here. You need to open up that door and allow the situation to heal. You both need to open the door and realize what's holding back your happiness in the future. Seeing that with each other. Oh, it's fear. It's fear of losing control. Things going too fast. Yep. It's time to get the balance back. You're both just right for each other. There is balance here. Very nice. Yeah, someone's stuck. They're looking at things from every angle. There's that Pisces energy again. Yes, looking at things from every angle. Somebody's trying to figure out how to approach you. They're seeing things from a different perspective. That's more. It's in the center, so it's both of you. Need to take a step back and look at things from a different perspective and maybe approach this uh, from a different angle. Okay, coming in with a different point of view, different perception. You both may have different perceptions. You need to get on the same page. There's no, there's a need for clarity, communication. Yeah, cornucopia. If you look at this from a different angle, you're going to see the boat, the two of you coming together could have everything. Cornucopia is the best it can get. That is the ultimate abundance. But there's just this stubborn and stuck energy. You're both the same. You have that in common. You have a lot of things in common. It's going to take both of you to cooperate with each other to make this work. Okay, so lovely energy for those of you who missed a connection with someone because of this. Okay, I feel like they're going to come back around or you're going to decide to cooperate. Whoever's going to cooperate here. It feels like nobody at this point, but with this energy, oh yes, it's going to happen eventually. Somebody's going to break down and reach out. Lovely. All right, take care of yourselves, everyone. I wish you the best. Bye for now.